Welcome everybody, it's me, that one guy from one place at that one time, Jacob 110, and welcome to season 22 of NHL Imperialism. Now, last season, we had our little resurgence between the season of the 23-24 season, and with that, the Minnesota Wild won that little contest that we got there, but this season, we've got nothing new. It's just going to get back into that flow to introduce the HICU. And with that, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to our first wheel spin to see who will go first for this season. Here we are at a trusty wheel. We're about to get ready for our spin here to see who will go first. And let the season begin. Our first team will be the Pittsburgh Penguins. All right, Pittsburgh, where are you going with this spin? Get the angle right, and with this up arrow, it will skip through and we'll be taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. So let's go ahead and get to our first game of the season. Welcome to Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, where we got our first battle of the season between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Toronto Maple Leafs. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Pittsburgh and Toronto as the Maple Leafs have a 3-2 lead. But let's see if Pittsburgh can tie this game here as they have pulled their goalie. But it looks like Toronto is trying to get possession inside their own zone, which they do. A good stop by Malkin keeps it inside the zone. Crosby shoots and Samsonov makes a save. With 10.9 seconds to go, we got to see if Pittsburgh can tie this game here. They win the faceoff. Joseph takes a shot. It's blocked. Another shot. It's not in. Malkin goes in, takes a shot. Samson up blocks that one. The Leafs get possession, and they win this one. They hold their ground and take down the attacking Pittsburgh Penguins and will now be taking half of Pennsylvania. With that, let's go on ahead and get to the map. See what it looks like now that Pittsburgh is out of here. Well, but first we go to the map. We got to see who the Toronto Maple Leafs took from the Pittsburgh Penguins, which obviously was Sidney Crosby. So now let's go to the map to see what it looks like now that Pittsburgh is out of here. Oh, here we are back at the map now that Pittsburgh is out of here and Toronto now owns half of Pennsylvania. With that, let's go ahead and get to the wheel to see who is next for this season. Pittsburgh is out. Our next team up is... The Anaheim Ducks. All right, Anaheim, where are you going with this spin? Take on the Vegas Golden Knights. So let's go get a game. Welcome to Team Mull Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we got our next battle of the season between the Anaheim Ducks and the Vegas Golden Knights. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Anaheim and Vegas as the Ducks have a 2 to nothing lead. So we're going to go ahead and see if Vegas can at least score a goal at home before getting eliminated here, but it's not looking good as the Ducks keep possession. Terry takes a shot. Hill makes another save. Face-off won by the Ducks inside the night zone. Zellweger gets hit. Terry takes a shot. That's blocked by Hill. Kalorn getting pressured now, trying to find someone open. Still gets possession. Kalorn trying to get around a man. Doesn't succeed. Now he does, but he gets hit from behind and Hill makes a save. And with that, with only two seconds left, this game is over for us. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at who Vegas is going to give to the Ducks. And from the Vegas Golden Knights, Jack Eichel is now an Anaheim Duck. All right, let's go to the map to see what it looks like now that Vegas is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Knights got eliminated by the Ducks and now Anaheim owns all of Nevada. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. Here we are back at the wheel. Now you notice that there is a second wheel. That second wheel on the right is the team's eliminated. So if by any chance that a team does get into those empty spaces, which we know we will, then that wheel will be spinned, spun for the player from an already eliminated team. So if you get any confusion, there's your um, unconfusional statement. 
Anyways, go ahead and get to our non-eliminated wheel. See who is next, which will be the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, Carolina, where are you going with this spin? To take Virginia. As they take Virginia, let's go back to those wheels to see who they'll steal a player from. And we'll be taking a player from the Vegas Golden Knights. And from the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Stone is now a Carolina Hurricane. All right, let's go back to that map to see what we, well, to get another team. Actually, no, sorry. Let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Uh, another spin for another team, and our next one up are the Boston Bruins. All right, Boston, where are you going with this spin? Oh, the take on the New York Islanders. Let's go get a game. Welcome to UBS Arena in Elmont, New York, where we got our next battle of the season between the Boston Bruins and the New York Islanders. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Boston and New York as the Islanders have a 3-1 lead. So we're going to go on ahead and see if Boston can somehow score two goals in 24 seconds. But it's not looking good. It's a faceoff. It's won by the Islanders inside the Boston zone. Dobson get it to Romanov. Horvat's now in control. Still in control after a little bit of mishap. He gets a little bit pushed back. Excuse me. Still trying to get the puck. Boston is really trying to just get out of the zone. Linhold get it to Pasternak. He goes into the zone with five seconds to go. Can't do anything as he stripped the puck from him. And the Islanders win this one. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Islanders will be taking from the Bruins. And from the Boston Bruins, David Pasternak is now a New York Islander. All right, let's go to that map to see what it looks like now that Boston is out of here. We are back at the map as the Bruins got eliminated by the Islanders. And now New York. Islanders own all of Massachusetts. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. Now that boss is out of here, our next team up is the Ottawa Senators. All right, Ottawa, where are you going with this spin? To take on a Toronto Maple Leafs, let's go get a game. Welcome back to Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, where we got our next battle of the season between the Ottawa Senators and the Toronto Maple Leafs. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Ottawa and Toronto as the Senators have a 4-2 lead against the Maple Leafs. Let's see if Toronto can somehow score those two goals here. McMahon goes in, loses it on a poke check, and now Batson has it for the Senators. Trying to go for that empty netter. Toronto's still in control. A hit at the blue line causes a little bit of a scuffle. Now here comes Toronto, McMahon goes, passes it to Crosby, can't do anything about it, a lot of puck battling in that middle zone, Senators take it, and this game is over. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Senators will be taking from the Maple Leafs. And from the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews is now an Ottawa Senator. Alright, let's go take a look at that map to see what it looks like now that Toronto is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Maple Leafs got eliminated by the Senators. And now Ottawa takes full control over Ontario. With that, we're going to go on ahead and get to the wheel to see who is next for this season. Toronto is out and our next team up is the Nashville Predators. All right, Nashville, where are you going with this spin? To take Kentucky. As they take Kentucky, we're going to go ahead and see on who they'll steal a player from. Four teams in this elimination win, and we'll be taking a player from the Pittsburgh Penguins. From the Pittsburgh Penguins, Eric Carlson is now a Nashville Predator. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team. Next up are the St. Louis Blues. All right, St. Louis, where are you going with this spin? To take Arkansas. As they take Arkansas, let's go back to those wheels to see who the steal player from. Spinning for another player. This time we'll be taking from the Boston Bruins. From the Boston Bruins, Charlie McAvoy is now a St. Louis Blue. All right, let's go back to the wheel to get another team. All right, spinning for another team. Next up for us this season is the Winnipeg Jets. All right, Winnipeg, where are you going with the spin? 
to take Saskatchewan. As they take Saskatchewan, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those builds, see who they'll steal a player from. Spinning the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Boston Bruins again. And from the Boston Bruins, Brad Marchand is now a Winnipeg Jet. All right, let's go back to the wheel to get our next team. Even more spinning for more teams. The next one up for this season is the New Jersey Devils. All right, New Jersey, where are you going with this spin? We go straight up north to take on the New York Islanders. Let's go get a game. Welcome back to UBS Arena in Elmont, New York, where we got our next battle of the season between the New Jersey Devils and the New York Islanders. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between New Jersey and New York as the Devils have a 4-2 lead against the Islanders. And the Devils are looking for goal number five here as Brad takes a shot and just misses the empty net. With 15 seconds to go now, let's see if the Islanders can do something here. Nelson trying to find someone to get it to Lee and another good save. Brad now has it. He's trying to find someone open in the zone. And a penalty is coming up with boarding by Anders Lee. And it looks like the Devils will be going on that power play, which will basically end this game here. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Devils will be taking from the Islanders. And from the New York Islanders, David Poshnuk is now a New Jersey Devil. All right, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. New York is out, and our next team up is the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, Carolina, where are you going with this spin? Take on the Nashville Predators. Let's go get a game. Welcome to Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, Tennessee, where we got our next battle of the season between the Nashville Predators and the Carolina Hurricanes. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Carolina and Nashville. It's a Hurricanes FA 4 to 1 lead, and I'm going to say this game is pretty much out of hand for Nashville to come back in. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Hurricanes will be taking from the Predators. And from the Nashville Predators, Roman Yossi is now a Carolina Hurricane. All right, let's go back to those wheels and see who's next. Nashville is out, and our next team up is the Los Angeles Kings. All right, Los Angeles, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Anaheim Ducks, let's go get a game. Welcome to Honda Center in Anaheim, California, where we got our next battle of the season between the Los Angeles Kings and the Anaheim Ducks. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Anaheim and Los Angeles as the Ducks have a one to nothing lead against the Kings. Let's see if Los Angeles can do something about it as a goal for the empty netter almost went in, but a good block at the blue line. Anderson has it, 15 seconds to go, gives it around. Here comes the Kings, Dano, Kempe couldn't get the shot off. It's in front, Kempe takes another shot. It's ping-ponging around and Gibson somehow found it. Five seconds to go, face off inside the duck zone, won by the Kings, this is their last shot. Moore, Doughty shoots, puck is in, not in the net though. It went around and this game is over and the Ducks win one to nothing. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Ducks will be taking from the Kings. And from the Los Angeles Kings, Drew Doughty is now an Anaheim Duck. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who is next. Los Angeles is out, and their next team up for this season is the Florida Panthers. All right, Florida, where are you going with this spin? Uh, you go up north and you barely hit the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we're going to have a battle of Florida. So see you all in Tampa Bay. Welcome to Amelia Arena in Tampa, Florida. Where we got our next battle of the season. A battle of the Florida between the Panthers and the Lightning. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see you, all of you, in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Tampa Bay and Florida as the Lightning have a two to nothing lead against the Panthers. Let's see if Florida can score a goal here. Reinhardt shoots, and Vasilevsky makes a good save. Face off down, one by the Panthers. Forsling takes a shot, Tarasenko scores! It's now one to two Tampa Bay, but let's see if the Panthers can score another to tie this game here. Vladimir Tarasenko gets it in past Vasilevsky and puts the Panthers on the board. 
So now with 15 seconds to go, face off inside that neutral zone. Puck is dropped, and it's won by the Lightning. Trying to get into that zone, they do. Kucherov goes in, pass across to Duclair, who goes for a shot, but Broski makes a save. 7.3 seconds to go, face off down, one by the Panthers. Ekblad in control, get it to Forsling, to Tarasenko. I don't think they have enough time to score here. They can't, and the Lightning win this game. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at who Tampa Bay will be taking from the Florida Panthers. And from the Florida Panthers, Matthew Kachuk is now a Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, let's go to the map to see what it looks like now that Florida is out of here. Here we are back at the map now that Florida is out of here and Tampa Bay takes full control of the state of Florida. So with that, we're gonna go on ahead and get to the wheel to see who is next for this season. Florida is out, and the next team up for us this season is the Minnesota Wild. All right, Minnesota, where are you going with this spin? Take Wisconsin. As they take Wisconsin, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who they'll steal a player from. Spinning the elimination wheel, and we will be taking a player from the Vegas Golden Knights. From the Vegas Golden Knights, Alex Petrangelo is now a Minnesota Wild. All right, let's go back to that wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team, and the next team up for this season is the Chicago Blackhawks. So it seems that I missed the uh, the clearing of Nashville for some reason. I don't know why I missed them, but before we get the spinning of Chicago, we're going to get this team eliminated just in case they somehow go down south. But yeah, obviously I've not done these in a while because I completely just forgot a whole team. <laughs> All right, let's go get to Chicago's movement. All right, Chicago, where are you going with this spin? To take on the St. Louis Blues, so let's go get a game. Welcome to Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri, where we got our next battle of the season between the Chicago Blackhawks and the St. Louis Blues. As we go down to center ice to get a face-off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between St. Louis and Chicago as the Blues have a 5-2 lead. And I'm going to say this game is out of hand for Chicago to come back and tie. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Blues will be taking from the Blackhawks. And from the Chicago Blackhawks, Connor Bedard is now a St. Louis Blue. All right, let's go back to the map too. It looks like now that Chicago is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Blackhawks got eliminated by the Blues. And now... St. Louis owns all of Illinois. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Chicago is out, so our next team up for this season is the Calgary Flames. All right, Calgary, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Vancouver Canucks, so let's go get a game. Welcome to Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, where we got our next battle of the season between the Calgary Flames and the Vancouver Canucks. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Vancouver and Calgary as the Canucks have a 5-2 lead against the Flames with Doug Cole making a great save off a Hooper Doe shot. And I'm going to say this game is over for Calgary. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Canucks will be taking from the Flames. And from the Calgary Flames, Mackenzie Weger is now a Vancouver Canuck. All right, let's go back to the map. See what it looks like now that Calgary is out of here. Welcome back to the map. Calgary is now eliminated by the Vancouver Canucks, and Vancouver owns half of Alberta. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Calgary is out, and our next team up for this season is the St. Louis Blues. All right, St. Louis, where are you going with this spin? Take Louisiana as they take Louisiana. We're going to go ahead and go to the wheel and see who the steal player from. Spinning for eliminated player, and we'll be taking from the Florida Panthers. And from the Florida Panthers, Alexander Barkov is now a St. Louis Blue. All right, with that, let's go back to the wheel to see who is next. Another spin for another team, and the next one up for this season is the Winnipeg Jets. All right, Winnipeg, where are you going with this spin? to take on the Montreal Canadiens across waters. So let's go get a game. Oh, welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, where we got our next battle of the season between the Winnipeg Jets and the Montreal Canadiens. 
as we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams. But we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Montreal and Winnipeg as the Canadians have a 6-5 lead against the Jets. Let's see if Winnipeg can tie this game here as they go into the zone. Shifley back to Morrissey, across the Pionk, to Connor, and it's stopped. Connor trying to get it in, and he can't. Shifley out against the wall now. Dumps it down. Coughlin's there first. Ellers had it for a second. Guile gets hit. And nothing but Canadians onto that side. Race out for it. They take it out of the zone. Montreal's going for it. They take a shot. Misses the empty net. But it doesn't matter because they win this game. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who Montreal will be taking from the Jets. And from the Winnipeg Jets, Connor Hellebuck is now a Montreal Canadian. All right, let's go to the map to see what it looks like now that Winnipeg is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Jets got eliminated by the Canadians. And now Montreal owns two Providences inside of Canada. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Winnipeg is out, and the next team up for this season is... The San Jose Sharks. As we're about to give the spin for San Jose, we realize that we do not have Los Angeles out of here. I am fumbling. So, as we get the Kings out of here, we'll go ahead and spin for the Sharks. All right, San Jose, where are you going with this spin? To take Oregon. As they take Oregon, we're going to go ahead and see who they'll steal a player from. A spin for the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Chicago Blackhawks. From the Chicago Blackhawks, Seth Jones is now a San Jose Shark. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team, and the next one up is the New Jersey Devils. Another fumble on my end. I forgot to take out the Islanders as well. Holy cow. I'm probably going to have to go through and see if I miss teams. All right, it's all up to date now. So with New Jersey, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Let's go get a game. We'll walk to Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here we got our next battle of the season between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New Jersey Devils. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds to go between New Jersey and Philadelphia as the Devils have a 9-3 lead. And this game is pretty much out of hand for Philadelphia here. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Devils will be taking from the Flyers. And from the Philadelphia Flyers, Travis Konecki is now a New Jersey Devil. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that Philadelphia's out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Flyers got eliminated by the Devils. So now New Jersey takes the other half of Pennsylvania. But with that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. Philadelphia's out, and the next team up for this season is the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, Tampa Bay, where are you going with this spin? Take Alabama, or Georgia, not Alabama, Georgia. They'll be taking Georgia. As they take Georgia, let's go ahead and see who they'll steal a player from. And we'll be taking a player from the Pittsburgh Penguins. And from the Pittsburgh Penguins, Danny Malkin is now at Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team, and the next team up for this season is the Washington Capitals. All right, Washington, where are you going with this spin? Ooh, you barely skimmed down to that little bit of island land for Virginia, and we're taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. Welcome to PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, where we got our next battle of the season between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Washington Capitals. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Washington and Carolina as the Hurricanes have a 3-2 lead against the Capitals. Let's see if Washington can tie this game here with 20 seconds to go. Boris, get it to Alexia. Tries to pass it, but gets hit midway. Wilson, pass stolen by Jarvis. He goes into the zone and he gets hit. Bear now has it. Get it to Strom. Across down to Pardis. Five seconds to go. Goes in. Slap shot. Anderson makes a save. And this might be it. But we'll go ahead and stick around to see if this faceoff is a winner. 
Face off inside the Carolina zone, won by the Hurricanes, and they win this game. And so with that, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at who the Hurricanes are taking from the Capitals. And from the Washington Capitals, John Carlson is now a Carolina Hurricane. Let's go back to that map now to see what it looks like now that Washington is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Capitals got eliminated by the Hurricanes, and now Carolina owns Maryland and Washington, D.C. So with that, we're gonna go on ahead and get to the next team by spinning that wheel. So see you all on the wheel. Washington is out, and our next team up for this season is the New Jersey Devils. All right, New Jersey, where are you going with this spin? To take Delaware. As they take Delaware, let's go to the wheel to see who they'll steal a player from. And the New Jersey Devils will take in a player from the Calgary Flames. And from the Calgary Flames, Rasmus Anderson is now a New Jersey Devil. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team. And next up for this season is the St. Louis Blues. All right, St. Louis, where are you going with this spin? To take Mississippi. As they take Mississippi, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who they'll steal a player from. As spinning on the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Vegas Golden Knights. And from the Vegas Golden Knights, Shea Theodore is now a St. Louis Blue. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Spin for the wheel for the next team up for the season, and it will be the Ottawa Senators. All right, Ottawa, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Montreal Canadiens. Let's go get a game. Welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Where we got our next battle of the day between the Ottawa Senators and the Montreal Canadiens. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Montreal and Ottawa as the Canadians have a 3-1 lead against the Senators. Let's see if Ottawa can somehow tie this game here. A zoom, get it down to Stutzel, to Batherson. Got a lot of Canadians around him. Gets into the zone, trying to find someone open. He gets around two men, but gets hit in that wall area, obviously. And so now they lose it with the Canadians going for the empty netter. It passes back into their own zone. Matheson passes down the dock. Gives it to Caulfield. Trying to get around a bunch of center doesn't work, but it doesn't matter because the Canadians win this one. And so with that, we're going to go on ahead and take a look at who the Canadians will be taking from the Senators. And from the Ottawa Senators, Austin Matthews is now a Montreal Canadian. All right, let's go to the map to see what it looks like now that Ottawa is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Senators got eliminated by Montreal. And now Montreal owns half of Canada here. Actually, I think it's more than half, to be honest. But with that, let's go on ahead and get to the wheel to see who's next. Ottawa is out, and so our next team up for this season is... The San Jose Sharks. All right, San Jose, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Ducks, so let's go get a game. Welcome to Honda Center in Anaheim, California, where we got our next battle of the day between the San Jose Sharks and the Anaheim Ducks. As we go down the center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between San Jose and Anaheim as the Sharks have a 3-2 lead against the Ducks. But let's see if Anaheim can get this puck and try to tie this game here. As a shot blocked by Gibson. A battle for the puck thrown down. And it looks like Terry will get it for Anaheim. Trying to find someone open to get his offensive going. Tries to pass it and Petrano steals it. Or Ferreira, excuse me. Petrano's on the other team. Five seconds to go. It looks like the Sharks are holding on. Jones scores! And this game is definitely over now as the Sharks will take the win. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Sharks will be taking from the Ducks. From the Anaheim Ducks, Jack Eichel is now a San Jose Shark. All right, with that, let's go back to the map. See what it looks like now that San Jose owns all of California. Here we are back at the map as the Ducks got eliminated by the Sharks. Now San Jose owns all of California and Vegas. So with that, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Anaheim is out, so the next team up for this season is the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, Tampa Bay, where are you going with this spin? You go through Georgia, and we'll be taking on the Hurricanes. So let's go get a game. Welcome to PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, 
But we got our next battle of the season between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Tampa Bay Lightning. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Carolina and Tampa Bay as the Hurricanes have a 5-2 lead against the Lightning. But at the goal by Shergachev, and now it's 3-5 Carolina. We could see a comeback here, so we're going to stick to this action real quick. So now with 22.2 seconds to go, we get a face off inside the neutral zone. Puck is down, and it's won by the Lightning. Kachuk, get it to Hedman, goes into the zone. Gets pressured at the red line, but here comes Kucherov. Point! Kachuk couldn't get it in! And now it's Getzel. Get it to Sveshnikov, to Yossi, to Carlson. He goes backwards, getting drowned by two lightning. He gets around both of them to Getzel. And the Hurricanes win this one. And so with that, we're gonna go on ahead and get to seeing who the Hurricanes will be taking from the lightning. From the Tampa Bay Lightning, Nikita Kucherov is now a Carolina Hurricane. All right, let's go take a look at that map now that Tampa Bay is out of here. here. We are back at the map as the Lightning got eliminated by the Hurricanes, and now Carolina owns a lot more states here. But with that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. Halfway through the season, 16 on 16, and the next team up for this season is the St. Louis Blues. All right, St. Louis, where are you going with this spin? to take on the Carolina Hurricanes. Let's go get a game. Welcome back to PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, where we got our next battle of the season between the St. Louis Blues and the Carolina Hurricanes. As we go down the center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between the St. Louis Blues and the Carolina Hurricanes. As the Blues have a six to one lead against the Hurricanes, and with that, that's uh, that's going to be it for this game. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Blues will be taking from the Hurricanes. Here we are back at the map as the Hurricanes got eliminated by the Blues. And now St. Louis takes a lot of land here. With that, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Carolina is out. Next team up for this season is the Edmonton Oilers. All right, Edmonton, where are you going with this spin? Ooh, let me get that ruler out. And you'll be taking on the Vancouver Canucks. So let's go get a game. Welcome to Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, where we got our next battle of the season between the Edmonton Oilers and the Vancouver Canucks. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Edmonton and Vancouver as a post hitter. Not in the goal though. And Edmonton with the 5-3 lead has control going for the empty netter and he can't get it in. Nugent Hopkins shoots and he scores. And with that, that should do it for this game. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Oilers will be taking from the Canucks. And from the Vancouver Canucks, Quinn Hughes is now an Edmonton Oiler. Let's go on ahead and take a look at that map now, now that Vancouver is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Canucks got eliminated by the Oilers. And now it's just two Canadian teams left in this season. But with that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. Vancouver is out and the next team up for us this season is the Edmonton Oilers. All right, Edmonton, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Montreal Canadiens, let's go get a game. Welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Where we got the battle for Canada here between the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Montreal and Edmonton as the Canadiens have a four to three lead against the Oilers. And they're in control inside the Oilers zone as Suzuki goes for a shot. Skinner makes a save. Basically 20 seconds to go, face off inside the Oilers zone. Puck is dropped, and it's won by the Canadians. Matson, Slavkovsky goes in, shoots, looking for the rebound, and another great save by Skinner. Hughes now has it for the Oilers. Pass it down to Dreisaitl, 10 seconds to go. Leon, Bouchard, shot is blocked. Hyman, get it to McDavid. Hughes takes a shot, it's blocked, kept in. Bouchard, Quinn Hughes, hell up, Bach makes a save, and that is going to be it as the Canadians will hold off and win this game. And so with that, we're gonna go on ahead and 
take a look at who the Canadians will be taking from the Oilers. And from the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid is now a Montreal Canadian. All right, let's go take a look at that map. Now that Edmonton is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Oilers got eliminated by the Canadians. And now Montreal owns all of the Canadian areas that have an NHL team. So good on you, Montreal. So with that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Edmonton is out. So the next team up for this season is the Dallas Stars. All right, Dallas, where are you going with this spin? To take Oklahoma. As they take Oklahoma, we're going to go on ahead and take a look at who they'll steal a player from. And we'll be taking a player from the Eliminated Will from the team, Washington Capitals. And from the Washington Capitals, Alexander Ovechkin is now a Dallas star. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team, and we will have the Columbus Blue Jackets. All right, Columbus, where are you going with this spin? And you'll be taking on the Montreal Canadiens, so let's go get a game. Welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, where we got our next battle of the season between the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Montreal Canadiens. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Montreal and Columbus as the Canadians have a 5-1 lead against the Blue Jackets. And they hold control of the puck inside their own zone. Anderson dumps it behind his own net. The Vark has it. Trying to just get it out and waste his time. Matheson dumps the puck into the Columbus zone. Lorensky had it for a second before getting hit. A lot of puck battling against that wall. It goes behind. Battle for it a bit. Severson hits it away, but it doesn't matter as this game is over. And the Canadians win another game. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who they'll be taking from the Columbus Blue Jackets. From the Columbus Blue Jackets, Zach Wierenski is now a Montreal Canadian. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that Columbus is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Canadians took out the Jackets, and now they own Ohio. But with that, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Columbus is out, and now we only have 12 teams to go. Next up for this season is the New Jersey Devils. All right, New Jersey, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Buffalo Sabres. Let's go get a game. Welcome to Key Bank Center in Buffalo, New York. We got our next battle of the season between the Buffalo Sabres and the New Jersey Devils. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between New Jersey and Buffalo as both of these teams are tied at two. So of course we're gonna stick to this action until someone breaks the tie. As it looks like the Devils will get control now. Konecki getting triple teamed. And now here comes Pedercon. He loses it. Konecki, a lot of battling at that blue line. Here comes the Sabres as they get knocked down. Hesher now has it with less than 10 seconds to go. Passes down to Hamilton. Across to Hughes. Trying to find someone open. Can't really find anyone. Gets around a couple and we are going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Buffalo Sabres and the New Jersey Devils. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Trying to find someone open. He just goes into the zone himself. 20 seconds to go. Hughes goes into the slot himself, and he scores. He does it all himself, and he wins it for the Devils. And with that, we're going to go on ahead and take a look at who they'll be taking from the Buffalo Sabres. From the Buffalo Sabres, Fred Stalin is now a New Jersey Devil. All right, let's go back to that map to see what it looks like now that Buffalo is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Devils took down the Sabres. And uh, getting closer to owning all of New York here. But with that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Buffalo is out. We only got 11 teams to go now. Next up are the Arizona Coyotes. All right, Arizona, where are you going with this spin? To take on the San Jose Sharks. Let's go get a game. Welcome to SAP Center at San Jose in San Jose, California where we got our next battle of the season between the Arizona Coyotes and the San Jose Sharks. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between the two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 25 seconds up between Arizona and San Jose as the Coyotes have a 5-2 lead, but here comes Sutherland. And another good save. Hoffman in control. Gets hit from behind. Cooley battling with him. Hoffman get it down to Sutherland. Another good save. 10 seconds to go. Krause has it for the Coyotes. Gives it down to Gunther. Gunther goes into the zone. 
takes a shot, not in, but it doesn't matter because this game is over as the Coyotes win. With that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Coyotes will be taking from the Sharks. And from the San Jose Sharks, Jack Eichel is now an Arizona Coyote. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that San Jose is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Sharks got eliminated by the Coyotes. And now Arizona owns most of that West Coast. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. San Jose is out. Ten more teams to go. Next up is the New York Rangers. All right, New York, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Montreal Canadiens. Let's go get a game. Welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Well, we got our next battle of the season between the Montreal Canadiens and the New York Rangers. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, well, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left. As the Montreal Canadiens have a 3 1 lead against the New York Rangers. We're going to see if New York can do something here. As right now, the Canadiens are in control. So Banerjee had had it for a second there. A lot of battling in that corner. McDavid gets it. Get it to Matthews. He couldn't do anything with it. Cross the thing. Get it to Fox. Pass down to Kreider. Gets across the red to the blue. Cross the thing. Takes a shot. Not in. Race for it. Kreider gets it first. Get it to Ross the thing. And he scores. It's now 2 3 New York. Let's see if the Rangers can tie it up with seven seconds to go. With seven seconds to go, face off inside that neutral zone. Puck drop, won by the Rangers. Fox goes into the zone. Passes back to Rossovic. He goes in, he shoots, and Hella Buck makes a save, and this game is over. And so with that, we're gonna go on ahead and take a look at who the Canadians will be taking from the Rangers. And from the New York Rangers, our Timmy Panarin is now a Montreal Canadian. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that New York is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Rangers got eliminated by the Canadians. So now it's a battle of reds for New York here. But with that, let's go ahead and get to the wheel to see who is next. New York is out. Nine teams to go. Next up for us this season is the Colorado Avalanche. All right, Colorado, where are you going with this spin? No way. Hold up. Let me get that ruler. And it's just barely not enough to fight Dallas, but they'll be taking New Mexico. As they take New Mexico, let's go back to the wheels to see who will still a player from. Spinning the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Columbus Blue Jackets. And from the Columbus Blue Jackets, Ivan Provorov is now a Colorado Avalanche. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who is next. Another spin for another team. Next up for us this season is the Detroit Red Wings. All right, Detroit, where are you going with this spin? Oh, to take Indiana. As they take Indiana, we'll go ahead and take a look at who they'll steal a player from. Another spin of the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Calgary Flames. And from the Calgary Flames, Nazem Kadri is now a Detroit Red Wing. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team this season. Up next for us is the New Jersey Devils. All right, New Jersey, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Montreal Canadiens, so let's go get a game. Welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, where we got our next battle of the season between the New Jersey Devils and the Montreal Canadiens. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll let's see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Montreal and New Jersey, as both of these teams are tied at three. So, of course, we're going to stick to this action until someone breaks the tie. As Panarin goes in, gets poke checked, and it flies to the center or to the corner of the zone. Here comes Bratt for the Devils. He gets poke checked, picked up by the Canadians. Orensky, get it to Caulfield. Trying to get something going on with the final five seconds. Across down to Panarin. Two to McDavid. One last shot. He takes one. It doesn't go in, and we're going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the New Jersey Devils and the Montreal Canadiens. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Pasternak goes in. Get it to Hughes. Hughes back down and a goal by Brat. And the Devils win in double overtime. And they take down the Canadiens. With that, let's go on ahead and take a look at who the Devils will be taking from the Canadiens. And from the Montreal Canadiens, Connor McDavid is now a New Jersey Devil. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that Montreal is out of here. 
Here we are back at the map as the Canadians got eliminated by the Devils and now New Jersey owning the largest land so far this season. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who is next. New Jersey is out, eight teams to go. Next up this season is the Minnesota Wild. All right, Minnesota, where are you going with this spin? To take South Dakota. As they take South, or yeah, South Dakota, we'll go ahead and see who they'll still play it from. And a spin of our elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Buffalo Sabres. And from the Buffalo Sabres, Tage Thompson is now a Minnesota Wild. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin from the wheel, and another team we'll get this season is the Dallas Stars. All right, Dallas, where are you going with this spin? To take on the St. Louis Blues, let's go get a game. Welcome to Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, we got our next battle of the season between the St. Louis Blues and the Dallas Stars. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Dallas and St. Louis, as both of these teams are tied at two. So, of course, we're going to stick to this action until someone breaks the tie. As Heiskanen goes into the zone, a slap shot! Robertson takes another shot, not there. Pavelski, excuse me, that was a one time, not a slap shot. I'm getting a little out of touch here. Ovechkin takes a shot and Bennington makes a save. Eight seconds to go in regulation. Face off inside the Blues zone. Puck dropped one by the Blues. Theodore getting pressured. Get a tub McAvoy. Down to Barkov. And he's just going to dump it down. And we are going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Dallas Stars and the St. Louis Blues. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Get it down to Tanev. To Ovechkin. To Heiskanen. And he scores! Miro Heiskanen wins it for the Stars! And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at who the Stars will be taking from the Blues. And from the St. Louis Blues, Alexander Barkov is now a Dallas Star. With that, let's go back to the map now to see what it looks like now that St. Louis is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Blues got eliminated by the Stars. So now Dallas owns a lot of plan here. With that, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. St. Louis is out, so we got seven teams to go. Next up this season for us is the Seattle Kraken. All right, Seattle, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Arizona Coyotes. Let's go get a game. Welcome to Arizona Arena in Tempe, Arizona. We got our next battle of the season between the Seattle Kraken and the Arizona Coyotes. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Arizona and Seattle as the Coyotes have a 9-1 lead against the Kraken. And with this, this game is very much over as we get a 10th goal by Boyd! We got a 10-goal game! Anyways, with that, that is going to be it for this game 100%. Definitely, there's no way in doubt that Seattle could come back from this. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at who the Coyotes will be taking from the Kraken. And from the Seattle Kraken, Vince Dunn is now an Arizona Coyote. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that Seattle's out of here. We are back at the map as the Kraken got eliminated by the Coyotes. Now Arizona owns all of the United States West Coast. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Seattle is out. Six teams to go. Next up are the Arizona Coyotes. All right, Arizona, where are you going with the spin? To take Utah. As they take Utah, let's go ahead and go back to the wheel to see who the steel player from. Spin of the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Buffalo Sabres. And from the Buffalo Sabres, Alex Tuck is now an Arizona Coyote. With that, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team. Next up is the Dallas Stars. All right, Dallas, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Red Wings. Let's go get a game. Welcome to Little Seasons Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Where we got our next battle of the season between the Detroit Red Wings and the Dallas Stars. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Detroit and Dallas as the Red Wings have a 6-1 lead against the Stars. And it's not looking good for Dallas here, but it's definitely not enough for them to come back here. 
So with that, we're gonna go on ahead and take a look at who the Red Wings will be taking from the Stars. And from the Dallas Stars, Alexander Barkov is now Detroit Red Wing. With that, we're gonna go on ahead and get to the map and see what it looks like now that Dallas is out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Stars got eliminated by the Red Wings, and now Detroit owns a lot of land in America. With that, let's go to the wheel to see who's next. Dallas is out, five teams to go. Next up are the New Jersey Devils. All right, New Jersey, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Detroit Red Wings. Let's go get a game. Welcome back to Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan, where we got our next battle of the season between the New Jersey Devils and the Detroit Red Wings. As we go down the center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between New Jersey and Detroit as both of these teams are tied at three. So of course we're gonna stick to this action until someone breaks the tie as Rasmussen goes into the zone. He gets hit at the blue line and will be considered offsides. Face off inside the neutral zone, won by the Devils. Dolan in control, going backwards. Get it to Hamilton. Trying to find someone open, get it down the brat. 10 seconds to go in regulation. Pashnak goes in and he gets hit at the line but he still takes control. Kane had it for a second, gets the cider, and we will be going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Detroit Red Wings and the New Jersey Devils. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Goes into the zone. The Brinkett passes it. Kane scores! Patrick Kane with an overtime winner! And the Red Wings survive! With that, we're going to go on ahead and take a look at who the Red Wings will be taking from the Devils. And from the New Jersey Devils, Connor McDavid is now a new... Uh, and from the New Jersey Devils, Connor McDavid is now a Detroit Red Wing. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that New Jersey's out of here. We are back at the map as the Devils got eliminated by the Red Wings. And now Detroit owns all of America, basically and Canada. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get to the wheel to get to our next team. New Jersey's out, four teams to go. Next up is the Detroit Red Wings. All right, Detroit, where are you going with this spin? Ooh, you barely skimmed through and we'll be taking on the Minnesota Wild. So let's go get a game. Welcome to Exile Indy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota, where we got our next battle of the season between the Minnesota Wild and the Detroit Red Wings. As we go down to center ice to get a face off of 22 teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 25 seconds up between Detroit and Minnesota as the Red Wings have a 4-3 lead against the Wild. But let's see if the Wild can tie this game here as the puck is in front. Picked up by McDavid, but it's stolen. Kaprizov goes in. Thompson couldn't do anything, and Gosh Despair now has control. Get it to the Bring Cat with 10 seconds to go. Goes for the empty netter, just high of it. But that might have been just enough time for Minnesota to lose and Detroit to win. And so with that, we're going to go on ahead and take a look at who the Red Wings will be taking from the Wild. From the Minnesota Wild, Kirill Kaprizov is now Detroit Red Wing. All right, let's go back to the map to see what it looks like now that Minnesota's out of here. Here we are back at the map as the Wild got eliminated by the Red Wings. Now we got three teams left to go. With that, let's go on ahead and get back to the wheel to see who is up next. Minnesota's out. Three teams to go. Next up this season is the Colorado Avalanche. All right, Colorado, where are you going with this spin? To take Wyoming. As they take Wyoming, let's go back to the wheels to see who they'll steal a player from. Spinning the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from the Chicago Blackhawks. And from the Chicago Blackhawks, Taylor Hall is now a Colorado Avalanche. All right, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team. And next up is the Colorado Avalanche. All right, Colorado, where are you going with this spin? To take Nebraska. As they take Nebraska, let's go back to the wheel to see who the steel player from. Another spin for the elimination wheel, and we'll be taking a player from... The Nashville Predators. And from the Nashville Predators, Philip Forsberg is now a Colorado Avalanche. With that, let's go back to the wheel to see who's next. Another spin for another team. Next up is the Arizona Coyotes. 
All right, Arizona, where are you going with this spin? To take on the Colorado Avalanche, so let's go get a game. Welcome to Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado, where we got our semifinals of the season between the Arizona Coyotes and the Colorado Avalanche. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Colorado and Arizona as the Avalanche have a 5-2 lead against the Coyotes. And so let's go on ahead and, well, say that. Let's go on ahead and take a look at who the Avalanche will be taking from the Coyotes. As this game is pretty much over for Arizona. So yeah, see you there on that. That's a goal by Taylor Hall! And from the Arizona Coyotes, Jack Eichel is now a Colorado Avalanche. All right, let's go on ahead and get down to our Season 22 Ipley Cup Finals as we get down right into Game 1, either in Detroit or in Denver. I'm going to let the game decide that. So we'll see you all in Game 1. But before we get down to Game 1, we're just going to go ahead and get a quick map update to show the Coyotes being eliminated by the Avalanche and now Colorado owns that southwest area of the United States. But now, let's go to game one of the Ipley Cup Finals between the Colorado Avalanche and the Detroit Red Wings. So we'll see you all in game one. Welcome to Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan for game one of Ipley Cup Finals season 22 between the Colorado Avalanche and the Detroit Red Wings. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we go with 30 seconds to go between Detroit and Colorado as the Red Wings have a 3-2 lead against the Avalanche, but here comes Colorado, and it's stolen. Rasmussen going in, dumps it into the zone. McCarr gets there first, has control. Trying to find someone. He'll give it down to McKinnon. Empty net for Colorado. And a power play for Colorado. As we're going to get a charging penalty on Michael Rasmussen. So now with nine seconds left to go in regulation, the Avalanche will go on the power play. Face off down one by the Red Wings. The dump out kept in by Landeskog. Trying to get the puck. Landeskog still getting held against the wall. He will not get it. And the Red Wings will win game one. And so with that, let's go on ahead and get down to Denver for game two of the Ipley Cup Finals. So we'll see you all in Colorado. Welcome to Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Where we got game two of the Ipley Cup Finals between the Detroit Red Wings and the Colorado Avalanche. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Detroit and Colorado as it's a 6-2 lead for Detroit. And it looks like Detroit will be winning the Ipley Cup in season 22. As we'll go ahead and just set the time count down for it and we'll head off to the map to see what it looks like now that Detroit has full victory. Face off down inside the Red Wing zone, one by Detroit. Sider goes in, takes a shot, doesn't go in as it's blocked by Gorgiev. And two seconds remain for victory for the Red Wings. 2.2 seconds to go for Glory. Puck down, one by the Red Wings. Sider, Gossesberger, Kaprizov, and the Red Wings are the Ipley Cup champions. Congratulations, Detroit. You got your cup. And with that, let's go on ahead and head to the map for one final time to show what it looks like with Detroit being the top of them all. Well, Detroit, congratulations. You're season 22's winner of the If We Cup. Thank you all for watching this one. I appreciate it. Glad to be back in, the, in these imperialism videos and uh, glad to start up this HCIU. So obviously next season we'll deal with the AHL, then the ECHL and so on and so forth. But for right now, before we finish off this season, we've got to give it off to our final man, the statistics guy, where he's going to go on ahead and give us all the statistics glory that we need on all the goals, the assists, the goal horns, and the MVPs. So with that, let's go on ahead and get down to our statistics. Welcome to statistics. We're just going to go on ahead and get right into this one. For most goals of this season, they have a two-way tie 
between Jack Hughes and Connor McDavid for seven goals. For most assists, we also have a two-way tie between Connor McDavid and Alex Kerfoot for seven assists. And total points solely belongs to Connor McDavid for 14 points. He once again took the triple crown. For total movement, we have Jack Eichel, who started in Vegas, then moved to Anaheim, then to San Jose, then to Arizona, and ending up with the Colorado Avalanche, who lost in the finals. Our April League Cup Finals MVP goes to Vili Husso with a .946 save percentage, saving 71 of 75 shots, which to me, that's impressive. And finally, our goal horns. Coming in at fifth place with seven goals, we have the St. Louis Blues. Coming in at fourth place, we have a two-way tie between the Colorado Avalanche and the Vancouver Canucks, both scoring eight goals. At third place for nine goal horns, we have the Carolina Hurricanes. In second place, we have a two-way tie between the Arizona Coyotes and the Detroit Red Wings, both scoring 10 goals. And in first place, with a whopping 24 goals at home, we have the Montreal Canadiens. And that's it. Season 22 is completely finished and done with the Detroit Red Wings winning it all. Check back in two weeks from now to see season 23, the AHL comeback. Anyways, it is me, that one guy from place at that one time, Jaguar110, and I will see all of you next time.